So guys, we're playing a uh, oh. red hunger. We're into the poker run right now. This helps us decide who gets an early advantage in the like... game. Hey guys, this is Mr. Dang here. So I'm trying something new with my videos, and for the parts of the video where I'm silent, or I'm just really concentrated, or I'm not really offering insights into what I'm doing, I'm gonna be attempting to offer voiceover. I know, right? Voiceover from Mr. Dang. Exciting. So. Uh, please bear with me as I learn this process. I'm I'm a really lazy streamer. You know this, right? I'm just used to getting all these videos, downloading them, slapping an intro and an outro, and calling it day. But now with adding voiceovers to these videos, it's gonna be a little bit more work for me. So hopefully the quality of my videos increases, but also maybe the uh, upload rate may decrease. We'll see what happens. But let's see what happens with this game. As you can see, I'm playing Hunter, and I just. I'm getting the notification that I'm Thrall. So as a Thrall Hunter, your goal is pretty much just to get a day one kill. Uh, if you can get a day one kill, uh, if you can get two, that'd be awesome. If you can get one, that's decent. So let's see what happens with the game. Well, so if you try to merge with seven people, there's only right. spots. First off, um, it will leave uh, Mr. Cherokavara. What happened, dog? Yeah, Cherokavara, that was Isn't very he? formal. Yeah, Chera Kavar. Yeah, I've, I've formally announced him because this man has not said hello to me and I'm fucking offended. He hasn't said hello to anybody! Melody, don't uh, you start. Oh, hey! You didn't even say hello to me! Put your phone in the boiler! Put your phone in the boiler! Sure you did, sure you did. <laughs> Drugs? I'm, I'm not in the proper Welsh way. Drugs? <laughs> your drugs? Not going according to plan. I need more drugs. Is that a filthy thing yet? I need to dump that. Well, the dump is gonna get the dump, not you. Alright, guys, the plan is to, uh, is to kill someone. So, guys, I know we just said our goal is to kill someone, but let's expand upon that a little bit more. We're playing Hunter, right? Obviously, it's a PvP role. In the game, there's two roles that are really just outfitted for PvP from the front. That's your Hunter that's with a base kit of a bow, four arrows, two bear traps, and your Marine, which is a pistol and one bullet, right? So if anyone's going to go hard from the start, uh, it's going to be those two roles. Now, what we're doing right now is we're slowly collecting wood because if we want to outfit ourselves with more <coughs> ammo uh, to do more damage or to secure kills, we're going to need two things, and that's wood and scrap. So as we're traversing this path, going to the camp to make our arrows we're collecting the first ingredient which is wood now the second ingredient is kind of the limiting factor for a big play for the hunter and that is scrap the more scrap you can get you know the more secure you can get but you don't want to just build arrows um be and then have no one there right because that defeats the purpose so you want to everyone's going to have their own different uh, approach or the different play style i personally think uh 12 to 15 arrows is good i've seen some really good pvpers go with 10 arrows uh and a and a wood axe it just depends on how confident you are to landing your shots uh and crafting <clears throat> but so we're getting scrap we're not getting too much scrap i think we in from this camp we get like six scrap which is about 12 arrows or 10 if you're going to craft the wood axe. But we're getting just enough to where we can get a kill. So let's see what happens. Hopefully we can get it. Uh, but we got Navi here. And we're going to craft. So let's look and see what happens. Alright guys. So at any point when you see a hunter crafting this much. It should kind of be sending you alarms. Um, one, they're, they're either going to kill the bear. Right? Which you kind of want to assist with. Or two, they're planning to just kill you. Right? So at this point um navi should be getting nervous um i've been crafting for a while now he shouldn't kill me or anything right or he shouldn't you shouldn't kill anyone that's crafting too much but it is something to be observant about and to notate right so uh as you can see i'm gearing up he's gearing up uh from the corner of my eye i didn't know this at the time but he was getting something really good so we'll see what happens so he's got are you quick. planning on taking down the bear yeah you want to help me or what Yep. That's it. Give it. Ah, you asshole. Bet you didn't expect that, man. Huh? 
Ah, shit. <laughs> it still ends the same, though. <laughs> ah, it's the hunter! It's the hunter! Are you murdering people? Nope. Jake, what the fuck? I'm... Right, right. Hold up. You don't have to shoot me real quick. Hey. Well, what did I just say? Shay, wait, I'll, make, I'll give you a trade. Wait, all right, what's respect, the, what's, what's, right? what's the trade? trade? What's the trade? What's the trade? Drop all your drop all your food too. Drop all your food and get out of here. Okay. okay. <laughs> hey, I've only looted the two walls, so there's that. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Go back to ship. <laughs> so as you can see, guys, I was able to get the day one kill. Uh, it was a little rough, right? Because they got a pistol, but I was able to secure it. Now, we could have easily killed Chef there, um, but I just, you know, I don't want to go super try hard on the crew. Uh, at least that's my play style. Like, I like to show some mercy at times uh, or compassion. There's a, there's a certain element of humanity that is kind of lacking in the community, and I like to show it when I can. Obviously, um, they would have put them in a bad spot. But I made my damage. They know I'm a thrall. Um, I've hurt the crew in the sense that they don't have a stew right off the bat. So it's not like I didn't do any damage uh, to the crew or to the cook itself. They're in a position now that they have to leverage resources to make a stew or to keep the crew fed. So at this point in time, what I'm doing, guys, is I'm making totems. So um, the obvious thing would make totems to the tent. Uh, but I dislike doing that because... Uh, if they just come up and run and and then and and crush them, then you're out of totems, right? So, <clears throat> I typically will make if I'm if I'm on this side, I will make some totems kind of scattered about towards the walls, and I'll put like one dummy totem in the tent. Uh, that way, they can come and crush it, and they think, oh, we got his totem, right? Whereas really, there's a couple of totems sitting in the wings um, that could still activate our power. So. At this point, since we've outed ourselves, we have to camp the night. We can't come back on the ship. We have to fend for ourselves. So, uh, it's, it's a really cool thing about Thraws is, you know, if they eat the flesh uh, of the cannibals or the humans, they not only get food, but they also get warmth. So, uh, if you're planning to camp out the night or plan to be a remote Thrall, you're definitely going to want to keep uh, track of your food and... and, and and so you might want to have a couple of, of meat on you, whether cooked or raw. Either one will do the will do the job. Obviously, cooked is better, but the raw will also give you warmth and hunger. So uh, we're just going to be crafting some bullets here. Uh, we're going to go PvP. Uh, at this point, our thrall partner is not outed yet, so uh, we're hoping that they can rem remain blending in. Uh, you want at least one thrall blending in. Uh, Unless you're really sure of your PvP abilities, uh, you want one person blending in. And the reason that is, is because uh, the blending in thrall kind of prevents muskets from being open. Muskets are a mechanic of the game where uh, upon collecting six armory codes, or the cheesy way of just getting four and breaking the armory code, you can unlock four rifles that have really good damage for either the bears and or the thralls. And as a thrall, you don't want the crew having muskets right so that's why we typically see a pvp thrall and then a blending in thrall the pvp thrall's job is to kind of hold uh or stop some supplies from reaching the ship in this case we stop the food from reaching the ship so that's what we're doing we're camping out the night uh and we're just slowly gonna build up our resources and the resources being totems and or bullets uh to hurt the crew with so let's go back to the game. Uh, 
Another new thing that we'll be adding to our videos is jump cuts, jumping to an important part of the video. And the reason why this is important is because as you can see from the text message appearing on the screen, our Thrawn partner is asking us for help. So there's a text wheel that the Thralls can use to communicate with each other without actually using voice chat. And it's important that you recognize the different types of messages. Now, clearly saying I need help and seeing that they're down is implying that they need us to go pick them up and take them to a bed <clears throat> so when you're playing as a thrall don't just focus on what the crew is doing focus on what your thrall partner is doing whether they're down whether they're asking for help that way you can be each other's fortresses or strongholds when you need each other's help and snap jump cut number two so we're gonna be a little aggressive we're gonna try to get a pick uh, a couple of kills on here on the left side camp we're calling a tier three cannibal attack and we're rushing towards it but we're gonna see that the crew is gonna react in the appropriate way, right? You can see them coming from the right side, those little figures. They're coming to help the left side. Uh, so as a crew, when you hear a cannibal attack, look around, see what's happening. Is it on you? If it's not on you, see where the cannibals are going and then go towards that direction. The ability to react to that could literally mean life or death for your fellow crewmates. So as you can see here, <clears throat> the crew reacted appropriately. They went to the right side or the left side. I apologize and they're engaging me forcing me to retreat now at this point I've wasted uh, my tier 3 cannibal attack. I had to spirit walk away Things are not looking good for me So I have to reevaluate what my options are to get a W. So let's see what they are right now My options here are very limited. I don't have any powder kegs to approach the ship and bomb it. Not enough crew members have died, so I can't be more aggressive. I don't have any uh, coal to attempt to turn the ship around. And I really don't know what my Thrall partner is doing. So at this point in time, if you have nothing left to do, I always suggest climbing up the ice wall and just preparing nitro bombs. And if you can nitro bomb when the crew is out of position, you can do some heavy damage. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's climb the ice wall and go get some nitro bombs. And bam, we're at the cave with the nitro. So for the next couple of minutes guys i'm going to fast forward or speed up the duration because it's just me grabbing nitro you guys don't need to see every uh second of this in real time so we're going to speed it up just a little bit so what we're doing right now is we're preparing the nitro or several nitros just setting it up putting it down setting up putting it down and then when we feel confident that we have enough we're just going to go set it up at key parts of the cave now the reason why we include this is that you can see more or less uh, the areas that you want to put nitro traps uh, in case you want to replicate this strategy. So we're just carrying the nitros that we already prepared, putting them in kind of hidden parts of the cave. That way we can trigger them uh, for the crewmates. Now, the obvious implication is that we want to bomb and get kills from this. And yes, you kind of do, but really all this is doing is stalling for time. At this point in the game, since I don't have enough kills... Uh, or I don't have any way to like really impact the crew. I just need to stall for time. So I just need to stall for time, wait for Day of Blizzard. Uh, that way the code can defeat them. Now, I put that natural trap in the very uh, beginning of the cave is because I plan to rush the crewmate when they're fighting bear or they're caught in a bad position. One well-timed nitro can decimate a crew. So that's kind of my initial attack. And from there, I'm going to retreat back into the cave, popping nitros one by one uh, so that I can stall for time. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, we do this just to stall for time. We don't necessarily have to kill people. All we have to do is waste their time and let nature take its course. So enough of the speeding up effects. It's making me dizzy. Back to real time and bam. All right, so our next play right here is going to call cannibal attack. The reason why we're calling a cannibal attack right now, instead of for one of their barriers so that we can charge up a doppel. We're calling this cannibal attack so they can waste health, waste resources, 
uh, and kind of be lulled into a false sense of safety. At this point in the game, our my cannibal attacks and my thrall partner's cannibal attacks haven't been exactly in sync. So the crew probably is really confident that they can survive the bear. Uh, here's where they're wrong. So we're going to let the cannibal attack do its thing. We're going to set up nitro so that when they're doing bear, we just go and rush in with the nitro and explode them. Now, I recommend hitting the nitro a couple of times so, the, so that where the durability isn't exactly strong or high. Uh, and then switch to a doppel. We just doppel right there. That means we're a temporary clone of the crew. If we take damage or we explode, uh, it doesn't matter because our real body is back there. So Doppel is really good, or it really it pairs well with a good Nitro Bomb. So we're going to slowly walk over there, and let's see if we can get it. Or they haven't seen us yet. We're standing, and we trigger the bomb. Oh, hey, look, it's we rush it, and we drop the Nitro, and boom! We killed probably like three or four people there. Uh, as we can see, there's like one person standing and one person uh, on the floor. So it's just these two people, we kill them, and we're in a really good position. Still, All right, uh, so we man. shot them once. Fight up, fight They're rushing up. us up with an Old axe, crawl. which is good. Um, let's see if we can get the second shot. Second shot. I'll Boom, we missed. Me, now we I'll switch to our wood axe, melee, and they're down. So we secured a really good victory there. Now it comes the next step, which a lot of people tend to overlook, but let me explain why it's necessary. The next step is literally grave robbing. We need to sanitize the site and look through the bodies and eliminate any good things that the crew has that could either come in the form of coal barrels, coal, weapons, food. Basically, take anything that's good uh, for a crewmate and dump it or use it. So all you're going to see here is us looking methodically through each body, dumping any wood, coal, coal barrels, so that if they come up here, and are able to pivot back uh, into a working crew again, they don't have anything that they can utilize. They have to utilize things that they have on the ship, which uh, a good, well, even for an average crew, they might not have any backup weapons or backup supplies. So it's gonna be really hard to come back from a big death situation such as this. So the next step is literally sanitize the site, dump any good weapons, any good materials, uh, and make sure the crew can't access them again. Oh. Okay. I just got to stall. Now, the reason why we called that cannibal attack on a crewmate so close to the ship was to prevent them from getting a key. The fact that there's still so many crewmates locked up and there's only one active crewmate means that that person's probably fishing for a key. So the longer we can keep them on ship and away from the actual environment, is the longer we keep them from getting a key and breaking the bottleneck, which is something we want we don't want to be broken. So that's exactly what we call that cannibal attack. There are benefits to calling cannibal attacks so close to the ship. Uh, you just have to find them. And there you have it, folks. That's the voiceover for the game. Not to spoil anything, but the fact is the crew did, weren't able to come back from that heavy blow from the nitro bomb. So thanks so much for watching up to this point. Just a couple of announcements for me. So this whole new voiceover system is very new to me. Um, I'm going to try my best to provide a very uh, consistent and quality critiques of my gameplay or what the crew's doing or insights into my mind or insights into the crew so that you guys can better learn from my experiences so that you can become better dread hunger players because the community relies on everyone. It relies on you, it relies on me, it relies on the hungry and eager new potential players that are out there that don't know that they want to play Dread Hunger. So hopefully these videos encourage a new generation and helps them to uh, be ushered in into a friendly and competitive gaming environment. 
Some other announcements is I started a Patreon. So if you want to support me uh, and my gin and tonic and sandwich habits or help me produce more quality videos for you to watch, uh, please support me at Patreon. I have two tiers at the moment. I have a $1 tier, which uh, at the end of my videos, whoever donates a dollar or an or higher will get their name featured at the end of my videos with a quick shout out through text or voice you also get access to the private discord channel uh for the patreon supporters and then the second tier is you get to see some of these videos a little bit earlier and uh post uh, archive access to some of the posts that I've made in Patreon. Additionally, if you don't want to go the Patreon route, you can support me at Ko-Fi. You can donate whatever you want uh, to I help me, not. again, either yes, with my I audio, did. video equipment, no, with Jane, my resources, or with maybe new I... games to play. I don't know, it's your money. You can throw it at me if you want. No, I'm not this forcing not anybody. But with that being said, I'm guys, I'm gonna return you back to present dang from the video no more hearing from yeah, future that's dang that's it that's so it this voiceover is done now you all just died <laughs> yeah i forget it was that long ago everybody grouped up Perfect. it did happen let me tell you let me tell you Captain. I'm gonna get off. Thanks what, for the game, how everybody. Severely, how severely, how deeply I fucked myself there. I, know. I did not poison you with a syringe. I didn't even get an S. That's Captain, crazy, dude. Should we get dirty? 